Let's dive into something that's been on everyone's mind lately, but maybe not in the way you expect. We're talking about the Bible, we're talking about prophecy, and yes, we're talking about Edgar Cayce. Now, what if I told you that some of the most terrifying warnings for America's future aren't just hidden in ancient texts, but also echoed by a man often called the sleeping prophet? You see, the Bible is no stranger to predicting the rise and fall of nations. It's all there from the destruction of Babylon to the trials of Israel. But what if America is next in line? The book of Revelation is particularly intense when it comes to describing the end times. It speaks of a great empire that will rise, only to fall under the weight of its own hubris. Scholars have debated for years about what this empire could be, some say it's Rome, others point to modern-day powers. But there's a growing conversation that this could actually be talking about America. And that's where Edgar Cayce comes in. Cayce, who made over 14,000 prophesies while in a trance, talked a lot about America's future. He wasn't just a healer, he had visions of catastrophic events and monumental changes. And let's be real, a lot of what he saw back then resonates with what we're seeing today. His prophecies about the economy, the environment, even social upheaval, these are things that are happening now, in real time. But it's his predictions about the moral and spiritual decay of the nation that hit hardest. Casey warned that America would face a severe reckoning if it continued on a path of materialism and moral decline. And if we look around, it's hard not to see the parallels. He spoke of a time when the country would be tested, when its leaders would either bring about its salvation or its downfall. The Bible and Casey seem to align on this, both point to a time of great tribulation, a period where America's destiny hangs in the balance. What's even more chilling is how the book of Revelation talks about a great deception, a leader who will rise, promising to restore glory but leading the nation further into chaos. Many have speculated whether this could relate to any number of political figures today. But let's consider Trump. He's a figure unlike any other in American history. Loved by many, despised by others, and undeniably influential. Casey didn't name names, but his description of a leader who brings about both division and fervent loyalty feels eerily familiar. As we approach the 2024 election, the stakes couldn't be higher. Both the Bible and Casey suggest that this isn't just another political cycle, this is a moment of reckoning. Whether you believe these prophesies or not, the fact remains, the signs are all around us. The question is, are we paying attention? Will we heed these ancient warnings, or are we on the brink of fulfilling them? Edgar Casey wasn't your typical prophet. He didn't stand on street corners shouting doom and gloom. Instead, he laid down on a couch, entered a self-induced trance, and started talking. And what he said during these sessions, over 14,000 readings in total, has left a lasting mark on spiritual and prophetic circles. Case's insights were so diverse, covering everything from health and healing to ancient civilizations, that he earned the nickname the Sleeping Prophet. But it's his predictions about global events and the fate of nations that really made people sit up and listen. Let's talk about the credibility of those predictions. This wasn't just some random guy spouting off theories. Casey's accuracy has been verified time and again, with predictions that hit way too close to home to be mere coincidence. He spoke of the stock market crash years before it happened, described the rise of Hitler in Germany, and even predicted major Earth changes, like shifts in the Earth's axis, which scientists are still studying today. So when someone like that starts talking about the future of America, especially in the context of leadership and moral integrity, it's worth paying attention. But what makes Casey's predictions about Donald Trump so intriguing isn't just what he said, it's how those words seem to resonate with the current state of affairs. You see, Casey often spoke about a leader who would emerge during a time of great upheaval, someone who would be both a catalyst and a polarizing figure. Sound familiar? Trump's rise to power came during one of the most divisive periods in modern American history, and his influence, whether you view it as positive or negative, can't be denied. Now, this isn't about labeling Trump as the hero or the villain of Casey's prophesies. What's fascinating is how the characteristics of this foretold leader seem to align with what we've seen in Trump's presidency. Casey described a figure who would challenge the status quo, 
a disruptor who would shake the very foundations of the nation. Trump's entire brand has been built on being that disruptor. He's defied political norms, broken diplomatic protocols, and reshaped the Republican Party in his image. For better or worse, Trump embodies the kind of leader Casey seemed to be warning us about, a leader who could steer the country toward an uncertain future. But let's not forget that Casey's predictions weren't just about doom and gloom. He believed that the future could be changed, that prophecy wasn't set in stone but was a reflection of the path we're on. So, as we look at Trump through Casey's lens, the question isn't just what's going to happen, it's what could happen. Are we on the brink of something great, or are we teetering on the edge of disaster? That's the tension Casey's prophesies bring to the table, and it's why his legacy continues to be so relevant today. As we approach 2024, the stakes couldn't be higher. The political landscape is more polarized than ever, and the decisions made in this election will likely set the course for decades to come. Casey's predictions suggest that the leader chosen could either bring about a period of renewal or drive the nation further into division and chaos. And this isn't just about Trump, although his influence on the election is undeniable. It's about the broader forces at play, the undercurrents of change that are shaping the future of the United States. Casey warned of a time when America's moral compass would be tested, when the values that once defined the nation would be at risk of being lost. This election, with its intense focus on issues like national identity, economic disparity, and social justice, is a reflection of that struggle. We're seeing a battle for the soul of the nation, a fight between competing visions of what America should be. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Casey didn't just predict challenges, he also spoke of the potential for redemption. He believed that America had a unique role to play in the world, a destiny that was tied to its ability to uphold spiritual principles. The 2024 election could be a moment of reckoning, but it could also be a moment of opportunity. The choices made by voters, the direction chosen by the next leader, could either fulfill or divert the path Casey saw for the nation. The Bible, particularly in the book of Revelation, speaks extensively about a time of great trial, a period known as the end times, where nations will rise and fall, and leaders will be tested in unprecedented ways. In Revelation, there's talk of a beast and a false prophet who will deceive many, leading them away from the truth. While these figures are often interpreted in various ways, Casey's prophesies bring a new dimension to this discussion. Casey warned of a leader who would emerge during a period of moral decay and social upheaval, someone who would captivate the masses while pushing the nation toward a dangerous precipice. This aligns eerily with the Bible's depiction of end-time leaders who promise peace and prosperity but ultimately bring division and destruction. The question we are faced with now is whether we're living in such a time and whether the leaders we're choosing are part of this prophecy. But it's not just about the leaders. The Bible also speaks of the people's role during these times. In 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, it says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Casey echoed this sentiment, emphasizing that the fate of a nation is not solely in the hands of its leaders, but in the collective actions and spiritual integrity of its people. As we approach the 2024 election, these biblical warnings resonate strongly. The decisions made in the voting booth aren't just political, they're spiritual. Casey believed that America had a unique destiny, one that was deeply tied to its ability to uphold divine principles. The Bible reinforces this, showing us that the rise or fall of a nation is ultimately a reflection of its adherence to God's laws. What makes this connection so powerful is the way Casey and the Bible both point to the importance of discernment during times of crisis. In Matthew 24 verse 24, we're warned that false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. As we continue to connect the threads between Edgar Cayce's prophesies and biblical teachings, there's one aspect that stands out, the concept of a spiritual battle unfolding right before our eyes. In Ephesians 6 verse 12, the Bible tells us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. 
This scripture underscores the idea that what we see on the surface, political conflicts, social unrest, economic turmoil, is only part of the picture. The real battle is happening in the spiritual realm and it has profound implications for the direction in which our world is headed. Cases prophesies a line with this biblical perspective. He spoke of a time when America and the world would face a profound test, a spiritual battle that would determine the future of humanity. According to Casey, this battle isn't just about external enemies, it's about the internal forces that drive nations and individuals. He warned that if America lost its way morally and spiritually, it would be vulnerable to forces that could lead to its downfall. Now, if we look at the current state of the world through this lens, it's clear that the battle is already underway. The divisions we see in our society, whether they're political, cultural, or even within religious communities, are manifestations of this deeper struggle. Casey and the Bible both emphasize the importance of spiritual vigilance during these times. They warn us to be discerning, to recognize the signs of spiritual decay, and to stand firm in our values. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The Bible, particularly in the book of Daniel and Revelation, speaks of a time when leaders will rise who seem to offer solutions to the world's problems, but who are actually agents of chaos. These leaders might be charismatic, they might promise peace, but their true intent is to lead people away from truth and toward destruction. Cases prophesies echo this warning, suggesting that America's future will depend on its ability to see through these deceptions and to choose leaders who embody true spiritual principles. In Matthew 7 verse 15, Jesus warns, watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. This verse is a direct call to discernment, a reminder that not all that glitters is gold. In the context of the spiritual battle Casey described, it's a warning that America's salvation, or its downfall, may hinge on its ability to choose wisely in the face of great deception. As we look toward the future, and particularly toward the 2024 election, the choices we make will be more than just political decisions. They will be spiritual decisions, reflective of the values we hold and the future we want to create. Casey didn't just predict chaos or conflict, he also foresaw the potential for America to experience either prosperity or peril depending on the path it chooses. And this idea resonates deeply with biblical teachings about the blessings and curses that come from aligning, or failing to align, with divine principles. In Deuteronomy 28, the Bible lays out a clear message, nations that follow God's commandments will be blessed, while those that turn away will face calamities. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day, and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom, Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. But it also warns of the consequences of disobedience, however, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses will come on you and overtake you, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Casey echoed this biblical principle, emphasizing that America's future prosperity or peril would hinge on its adherence to moral and spiritual laws. He warned that if the nation continued down a path of materialism, moral decay, and neglect of its spiritual responsibilities, it would face dire consequences, economic collapse, social unrest, and even natural disasters. But, conversely, he also spoke of the possibility of renewal, a resurgence of spiritual values that could lead to a new era of prosperity and global leadership. What's fascinating is how closely this mirrors the biblical concept of conditional blessings. The Bible is clear that the fate of a nation is directly tied to its relationship with God. In the story of Israel, we see a nation that rises and falls depending on its faithfulness to divine laws. When Israel followed God's commandments, it thrived. But when it turned away, it faced invasion, exile, and destruction. This pattern isn't just historical, it's a blueprint for understanding the spiritual dynamics that influence nations. Now, when we apply this to America, especially in the context of cases prophesies, the message becomes urgent. The choices made by its leaders and its people in the coming years will determine whether the nation experiences a time of blessing or a period of intense hardship. This isn't just about political decisions, it's about the underlying spiritual currents that are shaping the nation's destiny. Casey believed that America had a unique role in the world, 
a role that was tied to its ability to uphold spiritual principles on a global scale. He saw the nation as a potential beacon of light, but he also warned that this light could be extinguished if America strayed too far from its spiritual foundations. This idea is powerfully reflected in the Bible's teachings about nations being either instruments of God's will or examples of divine judgment. As we approach the conclusion of this deep dive into Edgar Cayce's prophecies and their profound connections to biblical teachings, there's one final aspect that demands our attention, the global consequences of America's choices, especially if Donald Trump wins the 2024 election. Cayce's visions were not limited to the borders of the United States, he saw America's decisions as having far-reaching impacts, affecting not just the nation, but the entire world. Casey believed that America held a unique position in the world, a kind of spiritual leadership that carried with it immense responsibility. This aligns with the biblical concept of nations being held accountable for their influence on others. In the Bible, particularly in the books of Isaiah and Jeremiah, we see how the actions of powerful nations ripple outwards, affecting the course of history and the fate of other peoples. When Israel sinned, its downfall didn't just impact itself, it caused upheaval across the ancient Near East. Similarly, when powerful empires like Babylon or Rome fell, the shockwaves were felt far and wide. In today's world, America's influence is undeniable. The decisions made by its leaders, the policies enacted, and the values it promotes have a global reach. Whether through economic power, military might, or cultural influence, what happens in America often sets the tone for the rest of the world. Casey foresaw that if America chose a path of moral and spiritual decay, the consequences would be felt globally, manifesting in economic instability, increased conflict, and a breakdown of international cooperation. But there's another side to this. Just as the Bible speaks of nations being instruments of God's will, Casey also believed that America had the potential to lead the world into a new era of peace and prosperity if it returned to its spiritual foundations. This idea resonates with the biblical concept of a remnant, a faithful group that leads others back to righteousness. In the Bible, we see how even when nations falter, there is always the possibility of redemption through repentance and a return to divine principles. So, what does this mean as we look toward 2024? The choice isn't just about who will lead America, it's about what kind of world we want to live in. Will America be a beacon of light, guiding the world toward a future of justice, peace, and spiritual renewal? Or will it contribute to the spread of darkness, leading to greater division, conflict, and despair? The stakes couldn't be higher, and the impact will be felt far beyond America's shores. As we've explored throughout this video, the prophecies of Edgar Cayce and the teachings of the Bible offer us both a warning and a hope. They remind us that the future is not predetermined, it is shaped by our choices, our values, and our actions. In a time of such uncertainty, it's more important than ever to reflect on the path we're on and consider the broader implications of our decisions. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We hope this exploration has given you a deeper understanding of the critical issues at play as we approach this pivotal moment in history. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content that dives into the intersection of prophecy, spirituality, and current events. Your support means the world to us. And as always, may God bless us all as we navigate these challenging times together.